Hey everyone. So what I really wanted to talk about today, now that the entire uh, Masters 25 spoiler has been released, I was looking through the different values of commons, uncommons, rares, mythics, uh, and I was actually really surprised with the commons, because right now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different commons that are above a dollar in value, which I think is kind of amazing. I mean, if we go back to Iconic Masters, we have zero, the most uh, expensive common in Iconic Masters is Thought Scour at 33 cents. So that's, I mean, anything under four, anything under 50 cents is effectively zero to me. Uh, in Eternal Masters, uh, we have Counterspell is the only one, so there's only one in there. Uh, Modern Masters, we have zero. Soul Warden is 39 cents again. It's so, so low that I don't even care. Um, Modern Masters 2015, we have zero that are over a dollar. Uh, Vines of Vastwood and Vapor Snag. Well, Vines of Vastwood is 95 cents, which is kind of interesting. That's close enough to a dollar. I can, we can talk about it. But, so, one-ish, a little less than one. Um, and then, I, I mean, we also go back to Modern Masters uh, 2013, the first Modern Masters set. Uh, that one's a little bit different because that one has six. However, we have Street Wraith and we have Lava Spike that are both actual value, five dollars and eight fifty. But I, I just, I mean, it just kind of blows me away that we've got eight that are over a dollar at this point. Now, once obviously, once they get opened and once the those value those values are going to go down just a little bit. But that's still, I mean, Cultivate is the cheapest one. And let me just pull that one up real quick. I want to talk about that. Because we have, um, so if you look at the other printings of it, um, the other printings of it, the cheapest version is Commander 2017, the, the Commander set that was just printed. So even the cheapest version is still over a dollar. So I'm So that says to me, that this new version, for one, isn't going to be the cheapest version. And if it is, I think it'll still stay above a dollar, or it's going to hover really close to a dollar, which which tells me that the rest of the set, I mean, that, that means that we, we're going to stick with eight sets, eight, eight commons in this set uh, above a dollar, which is freaking amazing to me. I mean, um, let me just, you know, if we talk... Um, and if you jump over to uh, uncommons for this set, we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 uncommons that are worth more than a dollar. In uh, Iconic Masters, we've got four. 26 to 4. Eternal Masters, how many do we have? Let's go up Uncommons. Um, with that, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that one's, I mean, I mean, Iconic Masters, I think a lot of us know that that is the outlier set that we almost shouldn't talk about because <laughs> it, it, it was different. Um, but let's talk about Modern Masters 17, because that was like, that was the big scary one where, or scary, I mean, it was a big excitement one, because that one, the expected value before it sold was like over $400, and, and it's come down quite a bit, but it's, it's creeping back up because such amazing stuff in there. That one has six. That has six. So, Masters 25, here, if we jump over, you know, I mean, the rares... I mean, I can I can count the number of rares that are under a dollar, but I mean, you know, the rares and mythics are are, are crazy exciting, but um, the rares and mythics are exciting. But to me, what's really exciting is these uncommons and commons being so valuable. That to me says that the entire set's value is going to push up up. Uh, quite a bit and that that's super exciting to me because I do a lot of the buy list stuff so as I just play and I just get to accumulate the cards from hanging out with people and 
and trading and just playing drafts and opening up packs like that, I'm gonna get a lot of my value back because whenever a card comes in that's 40 cents or under, that's effectively zero to me because there's no way for me to squeeze out that value that's not a waste of my time. Because if I were to sell those on, on TCG Player, I don't have the infrastructure to sell individual cards like that. So I don't have a way to, to pack them and store them and all that kind of stuff, wait until there's a buyer and then ship it out. So I need them to be enough value that I can care about it. Modern Masters, uh, I'm sorry, not Modern Masters, Masters 25 uh, is looking that way to me. I'm so excited, I'm so excited about this set, you have no idea. Uh, last time I was this excited was when Unstable came out. This is one of the reasons I play Magic. It is often that I'm excited like this. So it's so, so cool. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want, uh, I want to know everything you have to say about Masters 25 because what, what do you think the draft's going to be like, that kind of thing. And, and that's it, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do that is on Twitter, at Derwood773. Uh, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night.